And we decided to kind of wrap that up in this idea of just start off with the big transit map because the thing people know, people can grasp it immediately. And we kept tweaking the map until people just got it. And then walk us through it, rank order the projects in order of sexiness, in order of like, crap, that'd be awesome. And that's what we did. At the same time, it was challenging because the whole point of this thing is it has to be county-wide. It has to be partly suburban, right? That's, that's the tr tricky part politically is you have to get something for everyone. And uh, so Chicagoans are not going to think much about about uh, some of the West Suburban project. People in the West Suburbs really care about that. And so we needed some way of, of uh, both prioritizing the big projects, but also making it so you could kind of like tell you, skip to your own part of the story if you want. Um, that's that's the that's the biggest thing. Uh, I guess the other thing is, yeah. So we've had about 80,000 80, hits so far, uh, 12,000 Facebook shares, yep. Um, which is sort of nuts. And we haven't really got any major press hits yet. So I imagine if we get some press, that'll keep going up. It's to the point where we have to watch it. Oh, great. So it's to the point where people have heard people say like, oh yeah, my hairstyler is posted this on Facebook. Like that's exact. That was the exact point. I'm not gonna pretend I knew it was gonna happen. I had we had no idea. We were like, hopefully it'll get picked up. We really just actually wanted this one particular hairstyle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but that was kind of the goal. It's like this. This is not for you guys. This is not for you guys. You guys are vastly too insidery for this. You're not the audience, frankly. The audience are all your friends who don't give a shit about this stuff. That's the audience. And the numbers suggested that we're at least reaching some of those folks. We're really hoping to hit at least 100,000 Chicagoans, like regional people, because that would make it, well, we have 5 million people in the region. Yeah. So you start to get into 1 in 20 people see this. That's what you want to shoot for. That's brand recognition. That's the kind of stuff that will hopefully get this through. Um, yeah, any questions on design? How did you decide what to lead with? You lead it, you, the first kind of introduction is into uh, the South connector to Hyde Park. Why, was it a user study that? You know, or was it the most potential to you? How did how did that design come about? So I actually um, downloaded about a terabyte of, of tweets, and they're really advanced. No, I, I we just talked about it. Um, uh, we were gonna lead with Chicago. Yep. Uh, we were gonna lead with new and like brand new lines, which means you've got that basically leaves you with. Um, uh, uh, and all, it's also called the gold line, but it's you know what we're calling south southeast service. What the hell is the stupid name called? Southeast service. Yeah. So the gold line. Um, uh, the gold line is one that goes through High Park. Uh, that's 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 a big new one. The line line is another one. That's a big new one. Ashing BRT is another big one. That's bus, so it wasn't quite up there. So we kind of we kind of flipped the coin between line line and gold line because it was the biggest heavy rail projects, um, and we did line line just because. It's, we wanted to go from lake to outside of the city. We tried it both ways, and people were a little disoriented when we started in the outside of the city instead of the lake. They asked me why. Human cognition is mysterious. But it was mostly just we kept tweaking until people were like, OK. Um, how, how did you test against users? We asked some people to sit in front of it and do it like five and and My yeah. cousin did it. Yeah. yeah, so the thing about, yeah, so I'm not a designer by trade. But I've learned that the, the reason I, my, my pet theory of why we have so much traffic is that we, we kept people in mind the entire time. I said, like, I'm not going to read any of CNT's <laughs> copy on this. I'm not going to look at any of their materials. I'm going to start thinking, like, what would be interesting to my friend Joe? What does Joe want to see? And we kept thinking of Joe, thinking of Joe. And like, that's not nearly enough. We have to at least start there. And then we just put it in front of four or five people. Some of the content changed dramatically. Yeah. We found very early on that the, the basic format worked super well. So we actually brought it back. We made a super cheap version where we just like pull various uh, crappy maps people had done of these projects and just put them in the scroll. And already that was so much more kind of digestible um, that we kept going with it. We, we tried the Zoom stuff. People got it immediately. Everyone I put it in front of them like, oh, OK. I know where I am now. I can go back out. Um, so we were on the right track. And at the end, once we were something closer to the finished product, Put in front of five or six people. You can tell pretty quickly when something really doesn't work. So things like, is it really going to drive more interest to have gold line versus something else? That's actually you can test that. You can do split tests. You can do statistical analysis. It's ten times more work. 
But after about five or six people, you can, you at least get the major stuff uh, figured out. I don't know if that's helpful. Yeah. Uh, so anytime you want to do a project, highly like if, if your goal is, is public impact, just like lots of people, think about what is interesting. Like, what is the thing you can get someone interested in over a beer? Start there, and then put it in front of people very early, and keep iterating on the content. Yeah. Are you going to submit this uh, to the cut group for this for further civic user testing? Uh, maybe. It sounds like a lot of work. Might be too late. Like it's already out there. Yeah, we've also put probably 300 hours into this, so I'm a little burnt out. Um, that's a great idea. Yep. Uh, how how do people know that this is really going to or has the potential to happen? When I first saw this, when it was shared on on Facebook, I thought, oh, another like pipe dream CTA expansion plan mm -hmm. was my initial yeah. thought, and really I didn't. I mean. I kind of close the tab and be like, okay. Can you, can you click on the Twitter stuff? This was actually going to happen. When the recession like hit, they stopped doing the project, yeah. like the start pass. Well, I, yeah, yeah. There. I mean, there, there is that. But I think the, the people that you're aiming at might not, That's might think right. that it's another, you know, CGA pipe dream. That's and quite it, possible. And it's not, like, right at the top there. It's not <laughs> like, this is something that could happen. I don't know. So if I had an extra 10 hours? This is all this is all volunteer work, right? So if I had another 10, 10 hours to do follow-up, I would try to get one of the, that issue in particular. The, the really crappy sample set of public comments that I, here's what's public. Facebook is largely not public. Reddit and Twitter are public. So that's like where I'm getting at least some of the response. Oh, and the Chicago Tribune comments on that on the first article that we got, which was sort of like fascist commentary. So I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of other stuff about Walford Queens and whatever. They didn't link to the map, which is obviously why. Uh, that's also a joke. <laughs> um, so most of the comment right now is just like, whoa, this is awesome. We need this. And that's exactly the thing we wanted to elicit. We wanted to make people, when people hear Transit Future, if they've seen this before, the, pot, the, the feeling in their chest needs to be of excitement. Politics is about identity, about emotions, versus that the reason, part of the reason why there are so many bashers comments at the bottom of that first review article is it said tax, 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 tax. Some activists want to raise your taxes for taxes, 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 taxes. Oh, by the way, some transit stuff. There was no map. There's was just taxes. You know, so, so, so a lot of, I don't know, I, I want to spend more time to do it, but the number and of the comments I've been able to see is, is pretty much what we want, which is just like, Holy crap! So yes. the the expect or the, the desired reaction was kind of more like thinking about new ways of public transit and, and kind of putting exactly. that bringing that again to the table for maybe people. Haven't seen it's it. about public opinion. It's about hearts and minds. If people are like, oh yeah, we want this. Let's say ten percent of let's say Python, ten percent of the population becomes aware of this, right? Of those to be ambitious, maybe eight just never leave the level of like sweet. That one website I saw. Maybe 2% realize, what, as, the thing, as the political situation develops, oh crap, it's a campaign, I need to call my commissioner, whatever. Those are acceptable numbers. I mean, th th that's actually pretty big. That would be like 2% of the region. That's a huge number. And meanwhile, you have the other 10 that feels positively about it. Why? Because they want this. And in some way, that's actually reasonably effective communication. right? You said, like, here's what we could do, right? As opposed to having only one percent or two percent really find out about it before the vote happens. So, like for my goals, CMP, LA has their own goals. My goal was simply let's not have another BRT situation where you, you propose to take a one lane of traffic in the second densest city in the country, and there are benefits and there are drawbacks. But one of the benefits is people can get to the hospital. They can get to UIC. You can the, the north south of the whole city is connected. That was totally lost in the press coverage. You didn't hear that at all. You just heard one lane of traffic, one lane of traffic. Oh, I can't drive on Ashton anymore. And the loudest people got the most got the most play in the media. This number and the times ten behind it is a little bit harder to ignore. So that was a very long winded response. Uh, any, I know we're going over. Uh, we'll we'll finish with Nick, who's pretty funny, and he's going to talk about tech. 